Now I want to show you how to export from uh, um, Maya and from a soft image this format and how to load here. I want to show you with these two software, but uh, the, the rules it's the same in all software. So we can move it in Maya. And Maya here I have one file of uh, with uh, this dinosaur. Okay, with the rig at this dinosaur, I find a line from two artists from a gamma road. Uh, however, it's the free, free file and he made the rig. Uh, but uh, for me, it's important now is take only the geometry. I don't want uh, uh, all this line because I want only the geometry. So I can take the geometry, select the geometry, and I can go on cache, for example, if I want uh, export in uh, Alembic file and from Maya, I find more comfortable to use the Alembic file. Now I show you what's the difference. And from Alembic, I can also uh, have the um, uh, export all Alembic file or export only the selection. Now I can choose the selection. And here I can obviously I go to choose my favorite location is my cache. Loading example. Okay, and the file name is uh, Dino Dino Alembic. I don't want only the current frame because I don't have animation for me. It's now it's okay, only current frame. I can make export selected and he cooking, and I find here my ABC file. Now for import inside. Houdini is very easy. I can come here and hide my... I can make the file and I have the import, import geometry, Alembic Shin, okay, and Fieldbook FBX. I can use that, for example, for Alembic. If I use Alembic, I can go and choose my folder, choose my element and import and automatically it uh, creates here my dinosaur, okay? It's create one uh, node with inside my subnetwork. And here you can find when you work with Alembic is create for each element for uh, for the menu black shape, black shape, you can find the black shape, you can find the file node. There is more node for only for one geometry. You have this way, or you can, for example, use another way, very, very comfortable, is uh, you can go here, press tab, choose Alembic. I have the Alembic, Alembic archive, Alembic X4. If I choose Alembic, I go inside and I find the, the same icon of my file SOP. In fact, if I go here and choose Alembic, I find the same node. This is node is for load the Alembic file. So now I can select this and if I press P from the keyboard, I have the parameters here. I can uh, go to uh, take, for example, uh, also I can put here maybe my, my cache file, okay. I can go here, put here, and if I press on plus, I add my cache here also. It's very comfortable for shoes. Uh, maybe sometimes you can uh, recall that it's very easy and I can accept and I can load, I find my geometry, it's loaded. Also, if I press, I can see, for example, the number of point primitives and the packet alembic is 24. This is the, there is this element, okay, inside. So it's very nice, I can have my geometry here. This geometry is fixed, it's not, uh, 
animated but uh, if you want you can also export the animation you can see the animation and now I want to show you how to import file from for example soft image soft image maybe more uh, of you you don't know this software this software is retired from Autodesk but uh, it was very fantastic software for me and usually here I have the primitives for example models and I can create the very very strange for example I can create the, um, the car and here I have the car okay it's very complicated the car with the wheel and with the body of car it's uh, all I can select this and now I can go to file export it's the same in everything software I have the lambic or I can export in FBX and now here I can choose where I can go here and now if I come back on Houdini I can also import with the fil film box FBX and I can choose my FBX it's the same way there is here for example you can import uh, as new sheen or import is merging this sheen you can uh, and voila is import maybe I have some problem yes I have also the light but this is not important now important is uh, he creates for me this uh, sub network in this sub network I can find more network with the camera in FBX because the sheen have uh, the camera the, the null is this null is uh, to control my car or my element and for every element I find here more of my element with the file cache okay I can also use the file for example geometry I can also FBX I don't have the FBX loader so I can use the geometry node another way here I can use the my FBX and I find it I can check okay I can check I can disable this and go here and here I can see is uh, import not the all element but is uh, import only the some information of the body this is the big difference with uh, uh, work with uh, FBX and Alembic. Alembic uh, is import all geometry in one and here is not uh, all geometry but uh, some information is random information also is not uh, uh, the same. Okay. However, I can also make another trick for for example I want to work uh, only this uh, wheel okay but I need to to import all geometry in FBX this is a way it's the same also for uh, work in Alembic file and how I can uh, for example extrapolate from here and put inside the new network my only this wheel okay this wheel and for example I can go here and create another geometry node in this geometry node import element in this geometry node I can jump inside I can delete this and I can use the file merge file merge is very comfortable because uh, it's uh, the way 
for merge the file from another. Or for example, I can use the object, it's very similar to object merge. Uh, sometimes I prefer use the object merge because object merge is uh, import my element here. When I use, for example, the object merge, here I can go to search from this button, I can press, I have the, this tree, and inside this tree I can find my car is the, on the sub network, and I find the wheel from uh, wheel front to left. This is another aspect more important, is uh, associate the correct name on your geometry when you work in another software and when you take the geometry to an export for uh, Udini or for another software again. And here I can choose, for example, the left. Now I want to choose the left. And it's to say, choose this file this is because it's, it's the last node I find. I can say accept and automatically is import here only this wheel and I can work on, on this wheel. Another aspect more important is the scale of my geometry. Here I can see uh, Udini have the, this construction plane with 0, 5, 10. But what kind of unit is this? This is meters. Udini is working meters. So this is the 5 meters, 10 meters, 50 meters. So it's, it's more. It's more and usually you don't have this uh, very big wheel if you don't uh, are the, the giant man. Um, here, this wheel is very great. The same problem is with Maya. Sometimes the model when you come here because Maya is working centimeter and soft image work in centimeter. So you can apply the transform node Transform soft and here in a uniform scale you can say zero zero one and his change for example space G. Now you can see it's very small. So we have for example uh, here I have the kilometers. Here the each meters. The then meters, the M is a meter, the M, centimeter, and millimeters, okay? Every time you change the dimension, for example, you can go from meters to centimeter, you need to multiply for 10. Every time, every in this step, this is one, this is 10, this is another 10, and this is 10. Also, that is 10, 10, and 10. If you want to jump up, for example, you need to divide 10. So here I have meters, decimeter, and centimeters. I have one and two. So we have uh, one meters equals 10 per 10 because I have one and so, so is 100 centimeter. Okay, this is very easy. So if you want to uh, uh, come down for the scale, I need to divide and so I need to Apply for example, if you have one, you can divide the one under you have a zero zero one. So from Maya to Udini, you need to zero 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 one. This is the correct scale for work. So every time you import from uh, uh, Maya or another software is work uh, in uh, centimeter you need to divide it, divide this uniform scale. One is divide, one under is zero, 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 one. This is the final result you can put here. 
And this is more important work with the correct scale because sometimes your effect is not uh, uh, correct because uh, your uh, the scale maybe or take more time for creating the simulation because it's not working in the, in the good uh, scale. For some example, I don't uh, take care about the scale because it's the only theoric uh, and I want to show only the workflow or some aspect of Houdini. But in this uh, case is more important uh, sometimes uh, understand uh, the correct scale of your element, okay? Another kind of file we can export in uh, and we can use, for example, for interaction with another software is OpenVDB. OpenVDB is the format you can find online, more information, and uh, it's the library you can find. Also, it's very comfortable in uh, usually it's uh, the VDB format for uh, uh, exchange, for example, from uh, Houdini to another software. Also, we can see that maybe with the, the simulation, because usually I use that for simulation.